So today's video is gonna be about me practicing on my guitar. Um, what I just did was nothing but strumming the strings. Um, no song, no chord, I'm literally just strumming the strings. I just tuned my guitar and I probably should have recorded that, but I used the Fender um, tuner app for my guitar, I set it on my lap and I went over the um, strings to tune it. Um, so yeah, now I am about to do like a 20 minute video learning chords and um, finger placement. So watch out, watch while, a little, la, 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 la. <laughs> so watch while I learn. Okay, so I don't know if you've ever played guitar, played guitar or not. But, so of course these are called the strings, right? Okay. And then this E string has a name. So it's E, A, D, G, B, E. And the way to remember this um, is Eddie Eight Dynamite. Eddie, Eddie Eight Dynamite. GBA, I mean GBE. <laughs> I don't remember the last three, but it was 88 Dynamite, Girls, Boys, Earl. I don't know, but come up with it. But it's E D, I mean E A D G B E. That's the name of the um, the strings. This is the low E, this is the high E. So the strings are thick to thick to thin. So that's the strings. And then these over here, um, these little metal lines are called frets. And each section is fret. So that's fret one, fret two, fret three, four, five, six, so on, so on, so on. Um, all the way down. Um, I know there's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So you got 20 frets. When they tell you like to go on a fret, make sure that your finger is closest to the metal part. Not all the way over here, but closer to the metal part on um, this way. Um, Cause it gives it a different sound. It'll give like a, a buzzing noise. hold your finger right and make sure that you tune your guitar but let's let's play because he's about to show me the e minor tip of it straight down okay and then so i'm on the second finger, fret tip of that so a little pro tip for you, you when if, if i say second fret and you're kind of scooted back almost to where it's on the first fret i know you said a, that's not ideal like ideal is closer to the next fret up you don't have to press as hard and you uh, don't get a buzzy sound. So if I scoot it back, we don't want that. If I start to scoot it up, you can hear it rings out perfectly. So then we need to get our middle finger on that same fret, the second fret, but on the D string right there. And we put so them both D down. Is the third one down. Now, if your hand's kind of touching the other strings, we're not gonna get the perfect sounding chord. So we wanna make sure that there's enough space in our hand where the strings that our fingers aren't down on will still ring out. It should sound like that. And so just to start with, you know, you got your pick and I'm holding the pick. That's E minor. Um, kind of, think. if my thumb was I up like that, that, then the pick, oh, I paint on the strings around the sound hole area. Oh, you know, and I'm not using a nice pick fluid. either because I can't find my bag of picks. I've got the curvature of the, the guitar, morning, which most of us will have that. It's on my so right thigh. I'm using my fingers. For comfort. But it's comfort. Okay, so let's go back to that hole. Guitars in tune. And another tip from the muscle memory of these shapes that we're going to have to memorize is that you hold the shape of the chord 
and you take your hand off while you keep the shape and then we go back and we put it down again and that's how we start to remember that as well keep the shape take the hand off put it back on and that's our first chord we can start going you know we can do downs This is why I picked the second chord I'm going to teach you, which is called A suspended two. If you. Practicing on my guitar, and I will be back um, tomorrow for another video. Enjoy.